hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new i am akosia behine you are most definitely welcome so in today's video i wanted to share with you a quick i won't say it's like a quick <laughs> i wanted to share with you a few tips that you would need to have your vow stay makeup stay on for long it might not be like for long for long because definitely if you're going for you you might go out for dinner or like go out with your friends or with boo or stay at home by yourself but you still may want to look like a little glammed up or whatever because it's vials day you know if you're not going to go out with anybody if with anyone still treat yourself to something maybe some bottle of red wine and just like be in the spirit of love because that day we're supposed to express love so i'm going to be giving you a few tips on how you can make your makeup stay on for for as long as you're gonna stay out or for as long as you're going to need the makeup on so without further ado let's get right into the video if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do that and get comfortable because it's a family and it's 2020 so subscribe so first things first you need to make sure that your skin is prepped when i say prepped i mean i mean like your skincare because your makeup will definitely need something to like a good base to layer on and also I, i'm always saying that if you have like a good skincare or if you're treating your skin good and your skin is good and is glowy you're going to have your makeup always come out flawless you don't even need to do so much work so the first thing that i'll say is that make sure that you do your prepping make sure that you do your moisturizing your serums your oils all of that good stuff and then the next thing i'm gonna get into is a primer if you're more on the dry side i'd say that use a primer that is dewy because you'd want your makeup to not look as dry because i i know that is hamatan season right now and also it's winter so my husband is the weirdest person ever when i start recording that is when he wants to do something and he does it slow motion just because he's thinking it will make nice but it mm -hmm. is making nice if you're more on the drier side i'd advise that you use maybe an oil or a dewy primer basically to make your makeup not look as dry because you're already dry ashy <laughs> i'm sorry i have combination skin so I don't like I don't like for my makeup to look as dry or like extremely matte, but I like to be like in between. So I put a matte a mattifying primer in like the T zones of my of my face just so I can have somewhat of like a dry feel. And one primer that I'm loving right now is the Maybelline the Maybelline Blair Stick. It's a pore minimizing primer this stuff is really nice and i like the fact that it comes in a stick because i can literally concentrate it on the areas that i want to concentrate it on so i'm going to put these in my areas where i know that i get oily or oilier i know that's even a word um i'm just going to massage that in basically put the primer in areas where i have large pores and the areas of my face that produces a lot more oil the next step for me would be to set my primer i know you guys hear there's a lot from like a lot of youtubers and influencers and you might think is a trend and as a result it doesn't work it does work especially if you're oily or combination skin like myself stop flying <laughs> If you're oily or combination skin like myself, you need to set your primer on days like Val's Day when you need Bay to feel like your skin is makeup. Your makeup is skin and not makeup. You know what I mean? So, one pipe. <laughs> oh my god. I was gonna say powder. I said powder. <laughs> so one powder that i trust is the espan original formula loose face powder in the shade translucent wait this is not trans this is naturally neutral 
in the sense that it has like a neutral base it doesn't have any color whatsoever with it it's just like i don't know if you guys see but it's just like a really good neutral powder to set your primer and you need you need a neutral powder because you don't want the color oh my god so much vehicles what the hell you need a neutral powder because you don't want the color of the powder interfering with your foundation because powder does give some amount of coverage so you want to be careful with what color of powder you are putting on so also i'm going to put these in like the areas the oily areas that i put the mattifying primer and also over my brows my eyelids areas where i know that they get oily during the the day or during the night or when i wear my makeup that's where you want to have the powder concentrate and you don't want to do too much with the powder obviously you just want to set it so <clears throat> the next thing would be to color correct if you color correct but i don't because my foundation always gives me like enough amount of coverage to like to make me good to go so i do not do color correction but if you are the type that has to color correct please find that necessary and do it so the next step after color correction would be to do your foundation and for foundation i'd say that take a foundation that you trust a foundation that you know that you can fall back on you might have like a variety you might have you might have four or five but take one that you know that foundation way dear meaning send me the yummy makeup let me pay I can fall back on this foundation you know what i mean and i have two foundations that i say i can say that for one recently became a fave but the ultimate one is my maybelline foundation <clears throat> you guys know that i really love the maybelline matte plus polish foundation because it's the one foundation range that i have found that works really good with my skin shade my undertone it gives me like a really good foundation for a good amount of a good amount of period you know what i mean like it, it can last uh, the whole day in my opinion i use it all i've gone through like three bottles of this stuff so you should know how much i like it so that is a foundation that i can trust and also another foundation that i've recently started loving is the nyx or the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation this is in a shade warm walnut and I recently just got this and I've realized that it's also really good because I've seen people make videos about it, talk about it and stuff like that, but I didn't know anything until I got it. So it's also a foundation that I can trust. So if you're looking for any recommendations on what foundation you can trust for your vows day dates, then please Maybelline and NYX is something that you should consider. So I'm going to take my nyx foundation today that's what i'll be using and <clears throat> in all honesty you can use a beauty blender or a brush whichever one that you feel comfortable with but you know that a brush will give you a lot more sheer coverage and a beauty blender will give you a lot more smoother base or i don't know but i'll use a beauty blender so you see what i mean I don't know if I should use a brush on one side and a beauty blender on one side, but whichever one you decide to use, you know, and I see is a primer and a few other things that make makes the difference. And also the foundation itself, the make of the foundation, you know, the ingredients, is it matte? What, what is it? You, so that's why I said in the beginning that you need to use a foundation that you trust. So I'm going to use this two pumps because this stuff... And like I said, I don't like for my makeup to feel extremely dry. So no matter how much of a blurring primer that I use, a mattifying primer that I use, I'm still going with a mist, some sort of like a facial mist to spray my face just so I can get more hydration because I love hydration. I love my skin to stay hydrated. So I'm going to use this. This is the Olay Mist on the go. Not too much and then I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk beauty blender to just blend out my foundation <laughs> And I don't even have to 
to tell you guys how much this foundation is. Do you see? <clears throat> my foundation is done. The next thing I'm going to do is my concealer. And for concealer, just like foundation, you want to choose something that you trust. And for me, I like, I also wanted to say that I like my foundation just a tad bit darker because I like my concealer lighter. So for concealer, a few of my faves. A few of my faves is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso don't sleep on la girl she still bangs okay la girl still bangs so this is this is one of my favorite concealers that i can trust that i know that she can hold me down and then the next concealer will be definitely from maybelline maybelline is a, co a company that i love and i oh i said this at the beginning of the year i'm gonna work with maybelline i'm gonna work with a few brands this year speaking it into existence so Maybelline, this is the Maybelline concealer. It doesn't really have like I think it's just a concealer in a shade hazelnut 55. I love this stuff. It's really nice. It blends in with every foundation really nice So it doesn't need to be a Maybelline foundation. It blends in really good with every foundation whatsoever And then the next foundation that I love which is super light <laughs> is the elf 16 hour camo concealer and this stuff is also really good my shade is in deep cinnamon it's not actually my shade because it's a highlight shade so it's in a shade deep cinnamon i've had this stuff for a few months and i love it it blends out good with every foundation as well so i am going to go in with the maybelline concealer and then the elf just a little bit of the elf to lighten up my under under eye flawless that came out good skin prep does the job trust me guys good skin prep gets the job done i'm gonna go in with the elf concealer and i'll use that in just literally in just like the corner here like so and a little over my eyelid Just for like some extra brightness. Ain't got good. <laughs> so this is what we have after we blended out all of that jazz. I'd usually not contour, but I think I should do a little bit of some contour. So for contour, I the only contour product that i've ever used because <laughs> i never really used to do contour trust me but for contour i'll use the juvia i'm using the juvia's place concealer shade range in the shade number one i pre i presume that is the darkest shade if they say number one because it's really dark um i picked this trick from other youtubers You just bring it down from your brow, the beginning of your brow, and then join it to your nose. Just like what I'm doing. And it's a little to see how much product that I took and see what definition that I'm getting. This Juvia stuff is so, oh my god, okay. It's so freaking pigmented. I'm going to use the rest just of the perimeters of my face, just so. I'll get some contour.
Talenty. Coffee. Mm. So I'm just trying to blend it out with the concealer that I put on. Just so it doesn't look too harsh. And I'm <clears throat> I'm doing all of this before I do my powder process because it will also help to correct anything else that needs to be corrected. So it's a perfect time to do your contour with your concealer or with your foundation. I'm gonna quick quickly fill in my brows. Uh, yeah let me fast forward it because <laughs> if you want to see a brow tutorial i have about two or three on my channel so please go and look for that so my brows are done now i am gonna go ahead and set my face before i do my eye because yeah so to set my face i'm still gonna use the espon loose face powder and I will use the same beauty blender that I've been using throughout the process. Throughout the process. And for my under eye, I will leave the powder. <laughs> I just had saliva in my mouth, which was going to be running. I don't know why. For my under eye, I'll leave the powder on for a little bit because I'm going to do my eyes. And yeah. So to prime my eyes, I am going to use LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. This is literally the only concealer that I use for my eyelid because they're bright enough to make my eyeshadow show up really good. My husband is playing PS4. Just so you know. This eye look is probably the most simplest eye look that you've ever come across. It's just like a monochrome. <laughs> and I really wanted to do this eye look for Vow's Day because also, Val say you don't want to, maybe you're late, maybe Boo is like five minutes away, you need to quickly do a beat. This beat, get it done, sis. Get it done. <laughs> it's like the get it done beat. You know what I mean? So, that's why I wanted to do a look that would be like really quick and like out, out of the door type of way. I'm on my way type of, type of look. So, I'm honestly just going to be doing a one one maybe one or two colors i don't know but it will be very quick and simple for the eye look so i'll take my take me to brazil palette and my evita joseph classic blender this is my classic deluxe blender brush and i'm gonna go into this shade right here right there this orange shade right here and I'll use that all over my eyelid. I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. It looks really orange in the pan, but it looks red on the lid. You see what I mean? It's just like a really nice shade for a quick, a quick to-go look, if I must say. That is his, his, uh, uh, the game that he's playing. See how they are talking like human beings. And I'm just using the same color but i just sort of dust it off a little bit and then i use it to blend out the outer areas just so that i have like somewhat of like a gradient but with the same color because i don't want to i don't want to use two colors i just want to use one color you know so i either use what's left on the brush or i go back into the pan but i dust it off like so as much as i can and then i just 
go over the edges and voila my eye look is done <laughs> so i'm using the same brush to go over my bottom eye my lower lid i mean see oh my god i'm here for this i'm here for this So the eye is basically done and that is it i'm going to go in with a brown a dark brown pencil not a black pencil a dark brown pencil you can use a you can use a black pencil if you want to it gives more definition but i'm going to use a dark brown pencil And for mascara, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Uncensored Mascara. If you don't want to put on lashes, you can definitely just rock a mascara with this eye look. The, the advantage of this eye look is that because it's not too much colors going on and it's just like a monochrome eye look, the mascara is more likely to make your lashes look a lot more fuller and make it look a lot more visible because do you guys see that do you guys see what i'm trying to talk about do you you're able to see my lashes because i don't have like a cut crease or anything that is contrasting the mascara so it's actually the perfect eye look to do if you don't want to put on some lashes and this is also the perfect eye look to do if you are at work and it's vows day and you have to go out with your boyfriend and you want a quick look that you can do at work say you did you just did like basic nude makeup and you want to step it up a little bit this is the eye look to do you just take the eyeshadow palette take one color that you think you feel a lot more comfortable with even if it's not this color any color whatsoever and put that color all over your eyelid just make sure that it's well blended and trust me trust me sis trust me sis <laughs> lashes are on now so the next thing i'm gonna go in with is a blush and my favorite color i've said i've said it a lot a lot of times but i'll keep saying it again my favorite color to use is this orange shade right here and it just even makes a lot of sense to use it with this look i use this to sort of warm up my face a little so i use it over my contoured areas and i use it as a blush as well And because it's orange, it's like really nice. I love this. I love this blush. It's, it's like really beautiful. And the next thing that I'll use is a highlighter. And the highlighter that I've been loving lately is the Wet n Wild coloricon blush stroke bronzer this stuff is really nice i like it because it has it's like rose gold anything that has rose gold i'm sold i was gonna say i'm bought and i said i'm sold and then i realized that both was wrong <laughs> but yeah anything that has rose gold i love i love 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 i'm using evita's brush this is evita joseph's classic highlight brush and i'll use that to just oh my god oh oh my god oh my god mm. Mm. what other way to look good for boo i don't know why i keep saying boo but who but what else should i say like what other way to look glammed up for the day And I'm gonna set my face with my Garnier Soothing Facial Mist. So this is the entire look. 
I realized that I did the lip off camera because I thought I was recording but apparently I wasn't recording but it's just like a regular matte lip but if you're a gloss type of person and you, if you want to pair this look with a gloss lip it would definitely work out just just perfect but I want I wanted to go with a matte lip because you might be eating you know you might be drinking something you might be chewing some chichinga or whatever and you don't want it messing up your lip also for the lip gloss it's actually very advisable because you can keep reapplying but this this is like the type of lip that I know that I can drink water you know and we're still good I can chew and I'm still good you know a matte lip is a type that you know that you can fall back on for an event that you know you're going to be doing a lot of lip movement so that's why I decided to go for this lip and I thought a nude lip would say it best let me show you guys what I used for my lips I used this black secret this stuff is my favorite lip it was gifted from glitz africa ghana is the black secret mattifier liquid lipstick stays all day i love it and i paired it with this l'oreal this is l'oreal infallible pro matte liquid lipstick in the shade 354 nudist so this is in the shade 354 nudist and this this is the black secret is in the shade tender kiss tender kiss 424 tender kiss these two they're my favorite nude lipstick combo especially if i'm going for like a matte lip so this is the entire look guys let me know what you think what you, what you think about the look if this is a type of look that you rock on vows day which i know you will but if you will let me know in the comment section below because i'd love to know and also if you happen to recreate this look please tag me so that i know that i influenced you follow me on all social media platforms guys it's very important to follow me on Instagram because if I'm not here, I am on Instagram creating content as well. So follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, all of the good stuff. Akusia Benhini across all platforms. And yeah. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.